Just got the signal, we're live. Okay, welcome everybody. Um, it's our first meeting of the new year. I'd like to call to order the February 11th, 2021 meeting of the Waukegan Planning and Zoning Commission. Can we have a roll call please? Anderson? Anderson? I think you're muted, Teddy. Yeah, my space bar doesn't unmute me. Sorry, oh, I'm here. We can see you. Bill? Bill? I'm watching Star Trek the Motion Picture. Sorry, I'm not up Griffin? Right. Griffin? Star Cartoons. It's a live action science fiction show. Grimes? Grimes? Present. Present. Uh, Hog? Hog? I mean, if I can speak in your moment. Sure. Hints? Hints? I can hardly hear her. Hints, hints is here. How's this? Is this a little bit better? Yeah. Hints? hints? Here. Rivero? Rivero? You need to unmute, uh, Rafael. Here. Rivero? There you go. Santiago? Santiago? Here. Rodriguez? Rodriguez? Here. here. Okay, we do have a quorum. I'm here too. Yes, I do. And Commissioner Grimes came in at the last minute. I don't see you. No, I'm, you I'm in. I'm and here. Commissioner Griffin is here. I didn't hear you say I, oh, here, but I'm, I'm here. here. Do we show I her? I can hear her. Do, do, do we show Commissioner Griffin as being present? Yes. Okay, yes. good. All right, so we're all set. We, Did we you have a quorum. Next item on the agenda is the approval of the December 10th, 2020 minutes. So moved. Motion approval. by Commissioner Grimes to uh, approve. Second. I'll second it. Second by Commissioner Rivera. Any uh, corrections or changes? I do have one correction I'd like to make. It's on page two under section 4.3, zoning calendar 2626. It's the paragraph that starts with the commissioner's asked for clarification of staff report. Ms. Kishra Lepper and Commissioner Rodriguez commented that the business owner, tenant, and I want to change that. Uh, I don't believe I said he wants to downsize and find another location. I said he does not want to move, but if he is forced to move, he would like to stay in Waukegan. I already mentioned that to Kathy before. So are there any other, any other changes? Okay, can we have a roll call vote then on the minutes? Anderson? Yes. Bill? Yes. Griffin? Yes. Grimes? Yes. Haug? Hints? Yes. Rivera? Yes. Santiago? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. yes. Motion carries, minutes are approved. Uh, Moving on to item 3.0, old business. Do we have any old business to discuss? No old business. Item 4.0, new business. We have two items on a new business, but the second item, zoning calendar 2628, that is being held over. So we are not going to be discussing that, that item tonight. So all we have is item 4.1, zoning calendar number V-1-21, which is a request by the petitioner, Joseph Hughes, for the vacation of the alley east-west alley south of Belvedere Road and between Dilger and vacated Monoc Monocqui Avenue. Um, who is going to be presenting on that? Joseph Hughes, if you want to identify yourself. <clears throat> uh, Joseph Hughes. Okay, hi, Mr. Hughes. Are you the only one that's going to be uh, speaking on this issue? Yes. Okay, then what I'd like to do is to swear you in first. Would you please raise your right hand? Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? I didn't catch that. Can you please say it? Like I do, that? yes. Okay, thank you. Got it. All right, go ahead and uh, please present. Um, well, I've submitted an application for vacating the alley, um, which is directly north of an apartment building that I own and operate. Um, the alley is necessary to access our site the way it was built in the early 70s. <clears throat> um, the alley 
has been in a poor state of repair and I have been unsuccessful at um, having the city maintain it in any way. So I desire to, to uh, have it resurfaced. And uh, the way I would understand it is if, if I desire to have it resurfaced, that I probably cannot resurface city property. So as a result, I have submitted the application to vacate the alley. Okay, um, you know, I should mention that um, we have phone lines um, we, that we'll be taking calls on for at audience time. Um, phone number is 847-856-6412. So if anybody is following this live stream and would like to comment on this issue, or this item or any other item, uh, would like to address the board on any, any other item, you can call in at the appropriate time. We'll let you know when that is. The phone number is 847-856-6412. Okay, um, Mr. Hughes, that was the complete presentation, I believe? Yes. Okay, uh, commissioners, is there anybody that has any questions for um, Mr. Hughes? Any questions one. or comments? Uh, Mr. Durando. Um, Mr. Hughes, you had an opportunity to uh, review and sign and return the indemnification agreement, given that this uh, meeting tonight is virtual. I'm sorry, I had my volume too low. Could you repeat that, please? I said, I don't have a copy of the signed indemnification agreement. Did you have a chance to sign that and return it to the city staff? Um, no, I, I was not aware that that was <clears throat> required for the meeting tonight. Okay. Okay, I just noticed that Commissioner Haug is present with us. Mr. Haug, you were not present for the roll call, is that correct? Uh, that's correct. I had computer problems. I'm sorry about that. Okay, that's all right. You're with us now. Can I have make, a motion to seat Commissioner I'll make, Hogg? I'll make a motion to second. seat Commissioner Hogg. I'll second it. Motion by Commissioner Anderson. The second was by Mr. Bill. Yes. Um, can we have a roll call vote, please? Anderson? Yes. Bill? Yes. Griffin? Mr. Griffin? Yes. Grimes? Yes. Pence? Yes. Rivera? Yes. Santiago? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Motion carries. Welcome, Commissioner Howe. Thank okay. you. I was asking, does it, do any of the commissioners have any comments or questions regarding the presentation? No. You know, I'd like to say something. I know uh, Mr. Hughes uh, for a long time and he cares about Waukegan very much. And uh, if he needs to uh, uh, get this uh, indemnification done, you know, I, I don't see any problem with this. Uh, I know he cares about the uh, his area he does a good job with his uh, building and uh, you know, I don't see no issue with this at all. So I'm quite sure he can take care of what he has to take care of. Okay, thank you, Commissioner Rivera. Anybody else? Okay, um, I'd like to ask for the city's uh, position on this. City staff does recommend approval of this vacation. Um, as most of you may have seen, based on the way that this is laid out, anyone who would drive by there would assume that this alleyway is probably part of the actual apartment property itself. Right now, it is only the apartment property that has access to this alleyway. None of the properties that front Belvedere Road have access to this alley. So he is basically the prime beneficiary of this vacation of the alley. And based on the recommendation, it would be deeded entirely to the city, or excuse me, to Mr. Hughes, um, based on some encumbrances with the alley, that being that uh, ComEd is seeking a reservation of easement 
and that the city of Waukegan also has some utilities underground. We are also asking for an easement and based on these encumbrances that I have described, we are only asking for the assessed value of this property rather than the market value of this property, which is laid out in the staff recommendation. So we do recommend approval with the conditions that are outlined. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, can I? Yes, please. So I just wanted to sort of um, outline the issue for the, the commissioners with respect to the indemnification uh, issue and then I'll, I'll ask a couple of questions of Mr. Hughes. Um, the reason that we've been asking for indemnification agreements with respect to um, zoning, the zoning hearings over the course of sort of the COVID pandemic um, is that, uh, you know, the, the statute talks about having a full public hearing. We want to ensure that, you know, we protect the city but that we also allow people to move forward in the most expeditious manner um, with, their, with their petitions. We don't wanna to have to have hold, held everything up for the last year. Um, and we certainly, you know, as we were discussing before this meeting, don't know when this might end. Um, you know, so what we've been asking uh, petitioners to do is, is sign an indemnification that they understand that, you know, this really wasn't considered at the time that the municipal code was adopted. Um, you know, that we've taken every step possible to give people proper notice of the um, hearing tonight and that we are going to treat it as though it is a, a true public hearing. Um, in, in exchange, we're, we're telling the petitioners that they have to bear the risk. You know, if, if at some point in the future, um, you know, it does come back to the board uh, with you know, a lawsuit from a, a neighboring property owner who says that they weren't properly notified or that this, that the rules uh, of doing this virtually um, aren't enough to actually meet the, the due process requirements in the, in the zoning process. Um, so I guess with that sort of framework in mind, I, I guess I'll ask Mr. Hughes if he's had an opportunity to review the indemnification agreement or if it wasn't provided to him at all um, and if he would agree to the, the general terms as outlined um, at this point, um, that you know, he agrees to fully indemnify the city um, and that he will uh, uh, ensure that um, or bear any risk for um, under, if we are ever uh, sued for a due process violation as a result of um, the, the virtual nature of this meeting and that, that issue alone. Am I making sense to you, sir? Yes, however, I guess, uh, <clears throat> you know, if I, at this point, I'm not sure if, if I, uh, okay, assuming that we're successful at uh, securing this parcel, if I were to have it paved with, uh, you know, previously I thought I would have uh, paved with concrete, but realizing that there are utilities underneath of it that I, I wasn't quite aware of, you know, asphalt might be a little more practical, but still in any regard, uh, <clears throat> I could have a lot of money in, invested in a proper asphalt surface for that alley. Um, so I have not reviewed the indem indemnification agreement and have not been able to seek counsel um, so it's hard for me to, uh, on the spot, accurately respond. That's absolutely fair. Unfortunately, I think I have to recommend to the, the chairman at this point that this be held over for a month in order to, to allow Mr. Hughes an opportunity to do so. And that oversight is on our part, not the applicant's part. And I apologize, Mr. Hughes, that we did not get that form to you. Hey, Mr. Hughes, I'd just like to ask you one question. Um, there are conditions recommended. Do you have any issue with any of the conditions that are, are recommended by the city? No, I do not. Okay. All right, then what I'd like to do is ask for a motion to hold this over until our next meeting. Motion, I'll motion. Uh... Motion by Commissioner Rivera to hold this over till our March meeting. Second. Second by Commissioner Griffin. Any discussion on this motion? Can we have a roll call vote, please? Peterson? 
Yes. Joe? Yes. Kathy, can you unmute yourself, please? Griffin? Yes. Grimes? Yes. Haug? Yes. Hintz? Yes. Rivera? Yes. Santiago? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes, motion carries. Okay, um, what is the date of our next meeting? That would be March 11th. March 11th. Okay. And we'll get that form out to Mr. Hughes right away tomorrow. All right, thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, moving on, there's no other new business we need to discuss, is there? Okay, informational items, I see none. Um, we do have an audience time, and this audience time is not just for the item on the agenda, but this is an opportunity for any of the public who would like to address the commission to call in at this time to be heard. The phone number is 847-856-6412. Once again, 847-856-6412. We're gonna wait a minute or two and see if anybody calls in. Kathy, okay, we don't have any, there are no calls as of this. Meanwhile, could I ask a question, Mr. Chairman? Please go ahead. Some time ago we had, a, I believe it was a variance for Bay Marine. And I had someone call me and ask me if they were taking more property than we had agreed to, putting up barriers where it was difficult to get to the lakefront and get to the, the pier. I, I, would someone be able to take a look at that agreement and find out if everything is in compliance? So the port district during COVID has put their gates down to enter their parking lot and that's their property. They're entitled to do that. In the summertime, they do that often on the weekends where only members with, with keys or cards can get in there so that they have places to park to get out to their boats. Um, and I'm somebody who often goes down there at lunch. So I've seen this too. You can't get out on South Pier when that gate is down. Um, but that is Port District property and their gate, they're entitled to close that off. You can drive around in front of Bay Marine and there's public parking there where the canoe launches and the boat launches. Um, so that's open, but their building is only on the property that was approved. So there's no barriers preventing people from walking or getting to the pier if they want to? There's no barrier to walk or ride a bike. Um, onto the port property and down to South Pier. You just can't drive a car into their parking lot most days right now. And they have a sign up that says due to COVID, their facility is not open to the public. Lots of things get blamed on COVID, you know. <laughs> I'm aware. Darn COVID. Okay, we had a call, but I think it was the wrong number. <laughs> I'm going to repeat that the number one more time. 847-856- 6412, that is the number for audience time. Any member of the public that wants to call in and um, address the commission, this is the opportunity to do that. 847-856-6412, we're gonna wait just a few more seconds. Anybody else have anything that they wanna say? Okay, um, then I will hereby call audience time concluded. And um, we do, next item would be votes on all business items. We don't have a vote coming up on this since the only item on the agenda is being held over till the March 11th meeting. So unless anybody has anything else, I'm gonna ask for a motion to adjourn. I make a motion that we adjourn. Motion by Commissioner Anderson. A second. Second by Commissioner Rivera. Can we have a roll call vote, please? Anderson? Yeah. I think. Was that, I'm sorry, was that a yes? Yes. Bill? Yes. Griffin? Yes. Grimes? Yes. Haug? Yes. Hintz? Yes.
Rivera? Yes. Santiago? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Motion carries. Meeting is adjourned at 7.21 p.m. Good night, everybody. We'll see you Thank all you. next month. Good night. Good night. Stay safe and healthy. Yes. You too. Take care, everybody. Thank you.